Number six, the bigger the government, the more of the corruption. This is, this is perhaps, it's, it's almost never mentioned, and it might be the biggest of the ten principles I'm speaking of. The bigger anything is, the bigger a business, the bigger anything is, the more likelihood, the greater the likelihood of corruption. Let me tell you one very major thing that no one likes to talk about. Do you know who has committed the greatest evils of history? Big governments. Big secular governments. Hitler, Mao, Stalin, Pol Pot, all big states. Why would anybody trust the big state? It's amazing how many callers have Im imbibed the college message. Oh, more people have been killed by religion than anything else in history. Oh, really? No, more people have been killed by governments than by anything else in history. And just in the 20th century alone, and none of them were religious. You don't learn that in college. It comes as a shock to my listener. Yeah, that's a good, gee, I never thought of that. Why is big government, why doesn't big government have a bad reputation? Why? Not only that, well, they say, well, big, big corporations are corrupt. Fine, I never argued. We're, we're not big corporation fans. We're freedom, we're economic freedom fans, but we're not big corporation fans. But big corporations are not conservative. GE is not conservative. No, no, just know that. The head of GE is a big-time pro-Democrat liberal. This notion, they have invented this notion that big business is conservative. It never was. They did so much business with the Lenin that there was a, a, a statement that Lenin and his Bolsheviks had, Western companies will vie with one another to sell us the rope by which we will hang them. It's a very famous phrase of Lenin. But when all is said and done, no big company has a police force. The government does. You're, no one's been arrested by Coca-Cola. You can be arrested by the big state, which I will talk about as an example later. Number seven, 